Stop right there, outsider. The Dalish have camped in this spot. I suggest you go elsewhere, and quickly. I find that hard to believe. What business could we Dalish possibly have with a group like yours? A Grey Warden? How do I know you're telling the truth? No, that's true. Perhaps I shall let the Keeper decide for himself. In the camp, I suggest you keep your hands to yourself, and remember that our arrows are still trained on you. Follow me. Hmm. I see we have guests. <coughs> and a hound amongst them. As if we haven't had enough problems with such creatures. <laughs> Who are these strangers, Mithra? I have precious little patience and less time to spend on outsiders today. This one claims to be a Grey Warden and wishes to speak with the clan. I thought it best to leave the decision to you. That was wise of you. Masirinus, Mithra, you may return to your post. Manuvinen, Keeper. Now, allow me to introduce myself. I am Zathrian the keeper of this clan, its guide and preserver of our ancient lore. And you are? Manners, from a Shemlin. Interesting. What might be your mission here? Have you come to spread news of the Blight? I had already sensed the corruption spreading in the South. The existence of the Blight is not news to me. I would have taken the clan north by now, had we the ability to move. Sadly, as you can see, we do not. Yes, it seems like you've had your own troubles. What are the odds? I imagine you are here regarding the treaty we signed centuries ago. Unfortunately, we may not be able to live up to the promise we made. This will require some explanation. Please, follow me. The clan came to the Brazilian forest one month ago, as is our custom when we enter this part of Ferelden. We are always wary of the dangers in the forest, but we did not expect the werewolves would be lying in wait for us. They ambushed us, and though we drove the beasts back, much damage was done. Many of our warriors lie dying as we speak, even with all our magic and healing skill. We will eventually be forced to slay our brethren to prevent them from becoming beasts. The Blight's evil must be stopped. But we are in no position to uphold our obligations. I am truly sorry. There was a time in Ferelden's history when werebeasts roamed the lands in great numbers. Spirits possessed animals and turned them into horrific monsters. The humans warred against and destroyed these creatures. No doubt their tales of those days grow ever more inaccurate. Flemeth tells tales of such a time. Packs of possessed wolves akin to abominations roaming the land. It was a terrible age, now long past. The werebeasts are not all gone from this land, and the ones that stalk the Brazilian forests are proof of this. They are savage and unrelenting. They need no reason to attack anyone. What is curious, however, is the ambush. We expect werewolves to be no more cunning than a rabid wolf. The ambush suggests a level of intelligence we've never seen before. The affliction is a curse that runs rampant in their blood, bringing great agony and then ultimately either death or a transformation into something monstrous. The only thing that could help them must come from the source of the curse itself. And that... that would be no trivial task to retrieve. Within the Brazilian forest dwells a great wolf. We call him Witherfang. It was within him that the curse originated, and through his blood that it has been spread. If he is killed and his heart brought to me, perhaps I could destroy the curse. But this task has proven too dangerous for us. I sent some hunters into the forest a week ago. 
but they have not returned. I cannot risk any more of my clan. From whom? The children of the stone? The Shemlin? Do you truly think they have time to spare for us? There is no guarantee that this will work, as I suspect. But it's the only hope we have left. I must warn you that more than werewolves lurk in the Brazilian forest. It has a history full of carnage and murder, you see. Where there is so much death, the veil separating the spirit realm from our own becomes thin, allowing spirits to possess things, living or dead. But if you can indeed help, then I wish you luck. Make them quick, if you please. I have much to do here. My apprentice Lanaya or Seyrel, the clan's storyteller, could provide you with answers just as easily. Watch for the white wolves. They are his eyes and ears in the forest. There is not much to say. It stemmed originally from Witherfang, but now any werewolf may infect someone with it. No, the ones from this forest, however, do. It is possible, but not guaranteed. The only way to protect against the curse is not to be bitten. You will know within a matter of days. You will begin to sweat and vomit, and most tellingly, your temper will become wild and uncontrollable. If that happens to you, you should seek out Witherfang even more swiftly. Your mission at that point will be rather personal. That is a long tale I do not have time to tell. Ask Sayrel about it if you wish. Go on then. I must return to caring for my people. Creator's speed on your way. <laughs>